Hello everyone, my name is Dramat and today I will show you two Talia tricks that you need to practice. Well, one is a trick and the other one is more like a technique that you should practice 10 minutes every day if you want to understand and to main Talia and to play her responsibly, as I might say. Now, I, I am Drumat, I am a Talia OTP on Europe West, I am Diamond 4 currently, uh, been master on Europe, blah 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 blah, on Europe, Nordic and Eastern, all of that, yada yada. Just for the uninitiated people that, uh, I don't know, I'm just Diamond 4 currently, so basically a hard stuck Europe West main, but don't mind me. Anyway, the two tricks I want to talk about, I jump right into them so we don't waste time, are simple. First, I want to... Toggle Tower Invincible... There is no... How do you stop it? Well, whatever. I want to put some dummies around the map into some key points. As you can see where I put them, the first trick that you should know as a Talia main is how to play around these walls and how to actually uh, catch people. I would show you examples but and because I've made those techniques in countless games but I actually don't have right now a clear one but I would do it kind of every three games or so but I don't have time to film it all over again the trick is simple you stay in one of these spots here if you're red side or here around here or here you put a word over this wall like here or oops not this one or here and uh, by staying here, you can actually do a surprise WEQ combo on whoever comes. I've done this trick countless times on Ahri, on Talia, and so on. Why I tell you that? Because even in Diamond, in Diamond 4, and in even in higher ELOs, I've seen a Diamond 2 get caught by this. I've seen a Diamond 1 get caught by this. I've seen even higher ELOs get caught by this. People aren't that aware of their surroundings, especially when they have advantage. So. Sometimes their team takes Baron and I'm red side and okay, what they will do with that Baron? Well, they will straight push up towards the mid lane because the tower is up. So I'm going here, I uh, word this and usually I have a vision word or I try to be sure or certain that there are no words here. Usually when they get Baron or usually when they invade or they play around this zone, they don't come this way. They don't go all the way around so you will usually have this bash free but you can buy a vision word if you have a problem with this and so when they come they are around here you just simply just boop and do that and you got a free kill because when you play with electrocute and you have uh, morellos and ludens and maybe one item extra you will instantly pop someone most of the time most of the time now depends if you are Five kills behind, like zero five and under farm. Obviously, you won't kill anyone. But if you have standard, I don't know, seven CS per minute or more, and maybe some kills, you will certainly do heavy damage to a target, and your team will be here and can engage. Or you can just alt. Let me show you. You can just do this, and bam, your next W will come soon. You just move around their position and you try to corner them to alt. Now, this trick again works here, works here somewhere, uh, how do I teleport, here, here for red side, usually, and I have some low FPS but we'll manage. It works here and for the blue side is the same thing, right here, this is the spot usually people when come towards the tower, they usually make the mistake to come around here near the wall. Or this is the bolder one, but rarely people stack around this side because the tower is here. So the tower is far away from the part of the map, so you won't get them. This this trick works well on Ahri, works well on Oriana, when you can flash hold. I've done four or five manuals here, maybe just four, not five, I don't want to brag. And uh, WE of Tulia works the same way. There are many champions in which you can uh, do their burst from here. Like Velkoz even that, but Velkoz needs a channel so they have time to react. Usually they don't. They don't have time to react to an instant burst spell like Tulia, especially that it's a bit hard to see. So this is the first trick and I hope I was real quick with it. Now there are many angles that you can practice around with this, but these are the most common ones. One, two, three, maybe four, mm, not really, five, six, seven and eight around here. These are simple. 
There are other angles, but these are more obvious, like they know you are here, so when they are here, they know you'll be exactly there on the, the bottom and top tower. And so the same for the blue side, but most of the time this works. Now this is the first trick that I want to show, and the second trick is not really a trick as it is a technique to practice on Talia. What I find myself doing in some days, maybe 5 to 10 minutes, just mindlessly repeating one thing. And you'll be kind of ridiculed by how uh, simple this thing is. You simply put some dummies and you play around a wall. Now the game is here to do your WEQ combo to always, always, that was completely accidental, always push them over the wall and always try to do as fast as you can, like bam they fall, you do it once again. At first you start with one dummy and you put it here and you do this and when it falls you have to predict where it falls and do it instantly like you don't waste time okay you don't waste time uh, and then if you I don't know practice this for enough time uh, you can move to the second one I have low FPS because of the spam and because of the frame of the video because I'm filming with a new setting and uh, I think it was a really good idea and the second thing that uh, you want to do then is put is to put more of this and try to try to make them jump both. And you play around again and again, and you'll be surprised at how much this thing actually helps you in lane. I've noticed a pretty big percent increase in hitting my doubles. Like before, I was just missing them randomly, and now I actually kind of hit it more consistently. Uh, these are the main tricks that I want to show you, but I will talk about two more things that I usually notice, as I might say. The first thing is that when you are on lane against a champion, uh, when you E, you should immediately after the E use the W. Why? Because if not, if you don't do that, the enemy has time to actually move around more. And I found that mistake I, I was doing that mistake of waiting more uh, because, I don't know, because I was just thinking I could hit it better, but the element of surprise comes faster, not later. Most people will think you will wait and uh, the slow comes anyway instantly when you put the E. Yes, E has a slow if you see here, 21% uh, or something. But the best thing is to use it immediately. And another thing that uh, may be lower ELOs people don't know that you can actually Q flash on Talia to reduce the cast time. See? The pellet comes instantly out of you. Like you don't do this, you don't, how can I say, you don't Q and then flash. No, you Q flash if you want an instant, let's say someone is very very low here on HP, you just bam, instant without problems. And it works all the time. And these are the four things, you can actually practice these things, and especially this one around here. Now the first thing you have to remember, because in some games you'll be so focused that you won't know this corner, but uh, if you stay in this corner a bit and try to do some W's by practice, you will remember them, and again if you do this 5 to 10 minutes a day around this wall, I guarantee you, you will become a better Tilia player. It's just, it's like doing math, you, you practice, you, you understand the exercise, you repeat it, it's like sports, you progress by exercise. Uh, the third thing with the uh, WE is more of a remark, and the first thing, the fourth thing uh, with the Q flash is useful in some scenarios. Uh, don't you really use it that much, but it, it's useful to know. And that's a double flash. Anyway, that was it for now, thank you so much for watching my video, and hope you have a great time this day, next day, and so on. Uh, if you are having any suggestions for these videos or for my videos in general, please leave a comment below, I will answer you as soon as I can. I will also try to make some other matchups and based on their, I don't know, difficulty, like I'm gonna say Z matchup, difficult, Katarina matchup, difficult, Belkos, mid easy to medium, and so on. So yeah, that's what's about to come. Thanks for watching this and I really hope you enjoyed this. Goodbye.